And we've got a tour of Victoria Falls today, which is going to be lovely scenery. It's a trip. The noise from the waterfall is heard 40 kilometers away. Without any drugs. Instead of narcotics, plastic surgeon Dr. Ryan Austin offers this virtual reality headset to patients undergoing minor surgeries. Virtual reality really offers a new way that the patients can still have these procedures done safely under a local anesthesia uh, where they're awake, but it gives them the chance to disconnect. It's that disconnection or distraction from their surroundings, some experts say, that dulls anxiety and even pain. Dr. James Clarkson, a professor of surgery at Michigan State University, is a pioneer, having used VR in his practice since 2006. When we studied it, we found it's those patients, about 30% of them, that have an anxiety disorder that give us the highest uh, reduction in anxiety. Research as recent as May found VR not only has applications in acute pain management, but also in chronic pain settings. But it's not black and white. Other studies, such as one out of BC last summer, had different results. It suggests VR did reduce pediatric plastic surgery procedure times, but it did not lessen pain or anxiety compared to standard care of kids aged 6 to 16. For Clarkson, VR offers an alternative to expensive and sometimes risky sedation. If they don't need to be paralyzed and ventilated and they don't need deep invasive surgery, then and there's a large percentage of surgery that falls under this umbrella, then virtual reality can really help us. Austin has only been using the technology for a couple of months, but already he too sees the value. The system benefits by not having to take that patient to the operating room. Technology that could keep wait lists and patient discomfort to a minimum. Jamie Morocker, Global News, Toronto.